Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Don't really have too much content for this video. I just felt like having a little chit chat on my way to work. <laughs> so I am, uh, hey, I wanted to let you all know that we found Melody Tanish. <laughs> Her daughter contact me, contacted me last night and Melody uh, didn't know how to figure out the email so her daughter contacted me and I finally got that pressure canner uh, ordered for her so Melody you'll be getting that pressure canner here in the next uh, couple of days I think it's supposed to be there right tomorrow already uh, <clears throat> same thing with the other prizes I uh, sent out well I ordered all of them this morning so you should all have your prizes arriving at your doorsteps within the next day or two all right so congratulations again to all the winners and ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for joining in yesterday man i'll tell you what i have a great time when you guys are on there and i think we had a good amount of people yesterday i think at one time i counted more than 170 on the live chat that is awesome awesome place to hang out one of my favorite times of the week so so I was thinking this morning really quick, I'm like, you know what, while I was placing those orders, I'm like, you know, we are, even, even though we live in times that are questionable as far as safety and security, uh, we are very blessed. And I've always said that we've been blessed with time and I still stand by that because it allows us to prepare. And I truly hope that we never have to use our preps, all right? Uh, when you think about your preps, think about it being insurance. And uh, people that get insurance on something uh, usually really don't want to see the day where they have to actually make an insurance claim because it don't mean that they had a loss. So I truly hope that we never do have to use our preps. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, it's a beautiful day here today. I'm actually running a little bit late to work this morning, but I'm still taking my time in the back roads because I will get there just on time, even stopping to get my coffee. <laughs> so I've got it dialed in to I will get there just on time. I'm usually at work about 15, 20 minutes early, but today it looks like I'm gonna get there about five minutes before my uh, time starts. But uh, truly thinking about how blessed we all are to have the things we have and how some people only concentrate and can only see the bad. And don't be one of those people. It's okay to see the bad, but don't only see the bad because we can all learn from bad things. You know, I've learned a lot from seeing what some other people have done that you should never do you know especially in how you treat each other all right uh you know i often talk to some of my co-workers and uh you know in one way or another at work the conversation sometimes not always but sometimes turns into politics and i and i say you know when you talk about politics, you're already talking about two sides, which means that we're already drawing a division. We're already drawing a line between us. And we all forget that first and foremost, we're all human beings and we should all treat each other with respect. All right. And uh, also, like I said in the past, you have to read between the lines. And why is it that there is a system in place that divides people? You know, why is it that there is a system in place that tries to keep us scared, not only of each other, but of external forces, you know, or external players? Have you ever wondered that, at least in my lifetime, I can always look back and there's always been a them there's always been a uh, I guess you can call it a boogeyman there's always been something portrayed all right and propagandized to us 
that is going to hurt us. There's always a war against something, be it the war on drugs, be it the war on poverty, all right? You know, be it the, the war on, on, the, on the T word that I guess you're not supposed to say now, that's gonna be a never ending war because the T word is, is contrived more from a culture and ideology than it is from a, uh, what do you call it? I would say an action that was specifically taken towards someone. So ladies and gentlemen, what I'm trying to get at here, and I know I'm not very articulate and trying to get my point across is, don't let any kind of a force divide us. Uh, we need to stay together. Imagine if we all came together, no matter what, whether you're left, whether you're right, whether you're center, whether you're atheist, whether you're religious, Christian, Muslim, anything. Imagine if we all came together and said, enough is enough. No more wars, you know? No more controlling everything that we can do. Imagine the power that we would have. And that's exactly why a boogeyman, I'm, I'm gonna call it a boogeyman, that's exactly why a boogeyman has to be created. Every time that the status quo is threatened, a boogeyman has to be created. Because we have to remain separated so that we can continue to fight amongst each other. It's a sad state of events, but we are still blessed because we are still of free will and we can decide to do that which is right, all right? But we need to start to learn how to think critically and think for ourselves and stop listening to what someone else has to say and blindly follow. It's okay to hear, it's okay to listen, but follow your heart. And the only way you can truly follow your heart is to know what it is that you are following. So do your research, ladies and gentlemen, do your research. Research is the only thing that's going to give you the knowledge that you require in order to make the right decisions that will affect you and your family, either in the now or in the future. So do your research, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off because I'm starting, I am starting to bore myself. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my ride to work nice and slow. There's somebody behind me that's probably thinking, why is this guy going so slow? Well, I don't like to drive fast. All right, ladies and gentlemen, having said that, I hope you guys have a great week this week. Uh, happy Monday. Uh, I do plan on putting up a video either tomorrow or Wednesday. Uh, you know, I just wanted to have a quick little chat with you guys because uh, I think I'm addicted to you guys. <laughs> so I hope that you guys have a great day. Have a great week. All right, go out there and do your thing. Be safe. Make sure that you love one another. Take care of yourselves and your families, all right? Having said that, remember to be good to each other because when good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. This is Alaska Prepper and I'm out.